So, what we've currently got is a little game with an enemy character that we can shoot and kill. And we can take this, which will take us straight back to the end. But we've got no way of our enemy actually killing us. So what we're going to do is jump onto our enemy scene. And we're going to go and add a way of the enemy actually being able to detect us. So if we look at our 3D mode, so we've got our character. So we've got the Arity 3D, which is their hitbox. But what we want to do is add another Area 3D, but we're going to rename this Detection Area 3D. And we'll put a collision box on there. Another collision shape. And let's actually also put a another mesh instance, which is going to be our detection area. So let's make a box mesh on that. I'm just going to drag it out, drag it up a little bit. Also going to do the same for that box shape for the collision area. So this part is where we actually want our character. to actually you know, collide with us. So let's just make it, I'm going to say five meters on the z-axis. So we've got a nice long range that a character can see. This one here, let's also stretch that out, let's say to five meters as well. So we've got our little collision area, but on, this part, so we want to know where this guy can actually see. So what we're going to do is just go and modify this material. And we'll take that. We're going to enable the alpha for the transparency. We'll deal with the albedo. We'll change our color. Let's actually still have it red. Let's bring Our transparency down to about 69 and we'll save that now so what we've got is our little detection area what we're also going to do is actually let's animate this so we can have it changing shape and color as we go through so let's add a child node let's add an animation player onto this we're going to create an animation Let's call it searching. And we'll set that to be autoplay as a default, and it's going to loop through. So what we're now going to go onto our scene. Let's start by just changing the alpha. So let's just lock the alpha in. And we're going to have this be about three seconds long. We'll lock the alpha in at the end again as well. Then halfway through, we're just going to modify this so we're just going to go back up to these colors and change that so we'll jump in this color and let's actually make it pretty much cycle through to white so when we play this animation would help Let's pause that. Let's jump back into that middle animation. We need to actually go and let's bring those a lot to alpha and let's actually lock those in place. So we can see the colors are transitioning. So we've got our searching. What we could also do if we wanted. So let's pause that. You can actually go and modify the size of these searches. So could go and say, let's make it shrink down to three. At that point, so our size has been linked in there. Let's 
Let's go back. We'll change that one up to five. Move it back to where it was. Lock that size in. Lock that one in as well. So we can sort of pulsate and change. Not really that keen on that effect, so what we'll do is this we don't want. Let's just trash it. So all we have now is a shape that's just cycling through. So now we've got our detection area. Let's go and actually add some code to get this up and running. So we'll just pause that. We'll jump back into our script. We'll jump onto that enemy script. Remember, we can also get to that just by double clicking on the enemy. What we want to do is our detection area. We're going to add a node. And when body entered, so on detection area three, body entered. Let's actually also add another node for exited so that, say, we've lost the enemy. So we've got our two little parts of a script here. What we need to go through and make sure is that our player is part of a group. So we can manage our groups. Yep, we can see the player is in a group. We can highlight that there. So let's jump back into this. So let's just print out a message. So enemy has seen And we can do body.name, whatever it's called. And it's the enemy has lost. So let's jump back to our test environment. Okay, our character can sort of see that here. Let's just spin our character around just so it's a bit easier for us to get into the detection area. Run that scene. And we can sort of see and we've seen a player because we're inside and we've lost the player. So we know that's actually working. But we need to make sure that we're picking up the right person. So for that, what we want to do, if body dot is in group, so if it is in the player group, Let's just do another test. So we'll test that again. Yep, so that script has popped up with that we've found the player. Now let's just get it to go to the game over screen. So we don't want to get detected. Change scene to file. Res con colon models came over scene. Let's run this again, and it's gone to here. Note, don't have the cursor on here because I need to go and activate that. So what we could actually do is, be f when we're detected, we can actually code it in here. Input dot mouse mode mouse mode visible let's try that again in case we're detected and the mouse mode comes in now we can go through and play a game okay that's our core part of basically enemy detection obviously you might want to then look into doing things like nav maps and moving the characters around